Hello, hello. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just had some coffee there. Um, I just wanted to hop on and talk to you guys about Reiki Level 1 and my journey. So I did Reiki Level 1 back in the end of 2016, beginning of 2017. So what, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, about five years. I did uh, Reiki Level 1 about five years ago. Um, because I was led to a spiritual path after my mother passed away, it was like a, a huge shift. And that's, that's usually what it takes to, uh, change your paradigm is, um, a event that is, uh, has enough of an emotional impact to make you shift instantly. And that's what happened for me was I instantly started looking for um, more meaning in life. Everything that I had been doing at the time suddenly was uncomfortable and I felt like there was more in life and was led to this uh, amazing spiritual mentor, Randina Marie, and she does Reiki. So I started getting really curious about it. I was like, what is this Reiki stuff? Um, what what does it mean? Uh, so it's it's an energy healing practice. It's uh, super divine. For me myself, when I took Reiki Level One, was a huge opening uh, in my life for healing. It um, really shifted me on some deep levels. When I got my first attunement. Um, I cleared a lot of stuff out of my body. I think I held, I held, I, I tend to heal, hell, I tend to hell, I tend to hold, I tend to hold um, emotions in my body and Reiki level one, my attunement and my um, healing in the, the first class that I took really um, helped release some of that stuff. So when we've been holding on to that for years, it can be a pretty powerful experience. It was uh, really divinely inspired. I went to a medium because I felt this really strong desire to communicate with uh, my mother. And she did this reading that just blew me away. And at that point, I still was kind of skeptical skeptical of all of this stuff. I was like, oh, those mediums and I don't know. I think she's just going to make stuff up. That's, that's kind of how I felt at the time. Uh, she said that, uh, my sister had a little white dress and those of you that know nothing about my mother, uh, she used to bring these clothes over. It was a way that she showed love was she would bring these secondhand clothes over and it'd be a huge basket of them. And she'd be like, I got these for you. And, uh, we always used to take it for granted. We were like, Oh mom, we don't, we don't care. We don't want it. And, uh, it was quite amazing because right before she passed away, she, for whatever reason, because I wasn't, uh, emotionally connected with her, I didn't get to live with her. Um, I think she was always trying to make up for that. So the clothes that she, my sister and I are very different sizes. I'm, I'm more of a, a curvy, um, maybe not so much now. Um, but for the most part, my sister's taller than me, my little baby sister. Um, we're six years apart. She's taller than me. She, for the most of our life, she was very, um, skinny, like, like, model skinny just naturally that's how her body was and um so my mom would bring clothes and because my mom and I were uh closer in shape and in size for most of our life um the clothes would only be for me essentially unless she wanted a top or something and this basket of clothes there was this little dress that there was no way I was gonna squeeze into <laughs> and uh so my sister took it and, uh, the day after our mom passed away, uh, I came straight to my sister. She was, uh, first and foremost on my mind and she put on this, um, she had on this little white dress and I said, Oh, that's really cute. And she told me that it was one of the only things that my mom ever brought over that actually fit her. 
Um, so it had, it had extra meaning for her, that dress. So when she moved to California, she had this dress that she wore quite a bit. It was very, it was very, um, simple, uh, but I think it, it carried a lot of meaning and, um, I believe she wore it to her wedding. She'll have to correct me for that one though. Um, but she's, she's worn this dress a lot and this medium knows nothing, nothing about my life. There is no way she could find that online. And she said, uh, your, your mom is bringing up this white dress. And I just knew instantly. And I was like, holy cow, like blown away with some of the things that this woman's saying. Cause there are things that you couldn't just research online. So she's telling us about this dress. I tell Jess and, and my sister's kind of, you know, emotionally moved by it. So I'm believing in this mediumship reading. And she she goes as far as to say, you, you have a rainbow over your head. And I was like, okay, <laughs> no, <laughs> too far. Like I've spent 15 years in the restaurant industry, like hardcore adrenaline, like uh, I'm, I'm a pretty brash person sometimes. So I was like, no rainbow over my head. Like I'm still like, haven't taken Reiki. I am very like a baby in this spiritual world. Like, what are you talking about a rainbow? And I said, well, that's nice. Thank you. I have no idea what that means though. And literally I think it was, oh, it was the next day. That's right. I already had, um, this Reiki level one booked. No, I didn't. I didn't have Reiki level one booked, but I was on my way to a winery with my girlfriend and I was talking about taking Reiki. That's why I knew that I should do it. And, uh, so this woman said I had a rainbow over my head and I'm thinking this is crazy. And, um, uh, so we're driving and we look up as we're driving over this beautiful landscape in the Okanagan here, we're hitting a peak here. And then over here is just nothing but like mountains and trees and lake. It looks almost like an ocean. So we're just like, we're having the time of our life. And we look up and there's a few clouds in the sky, but there's a, a fire rainbow. And uh, fire rainbows are, are not rare, rare, but they don't happen very often. And I had never in my life seen one of these and it was like super vibrant. It wasn't just a little one. And I just looked up and I pulled over and my girlfriend who is in the restaurant industry too, she's open to spirituality and through my path has opened a lot more to it. But she's sitting there and she's like, why'd you pull over to the side of the road? What is going on? And I said, I just had a mediumship reading last night and she's like, okay, <laughs> like, why are you telling me this? And I said, she said that my mom told me that there's a fire over, over my head or not a fire, a rainbow over my head. And I thought she was insane. Now look up. And it was literally like right above us, this huge, huge, vibrant rainbow circle. There was also the sun and the sun had all of these like huge, um, rainbow circles around it to the point where my girlfriend's like, I just got chills. She doesn't know what chills is, but so I'm like, and this woman's talking about, um, a blue butterfly. Um, maybe I should get it as a tattoo and we're talking and I'm talking about Reiki and we're on our way to this winery. We took a bunch of videos. I still to this day have the video. It doesn't come across on my screen because my phone was so old at the time, but, um, not as vibrant as it was for us. And she has now since said every time she gets together with me, something crazy magical like that happens. Um, but I was telling her about this blue butterfly and the blue butterfly is, um, I had a dream about it and I had a dream about this blue butterfly and dreams are very like symbolic. They can have a lot of subconscious meaning. And I, I literally had this blue butterfly like fly into my forehead and I woke up because I could feel it. And as I woke up still like conscious, I could feel it. And I was like, there's something with this blue butterfly. So I'm searching for Reiki and I'm like, I, I don't, I'm not really seeing anything here in Cologne. I'm going to try Penticton because Penticton's, you know, a few towns over. And, uh, I just thought I'm just going to search the Okanagan for, for Reiki. Excuse me. 
So I am searching, I'm searching. I end up on this Penticton website. It, it's called Angel, Angel Zen School of Reiki. And uh, she has a blue butterfly. And I know it sounds like very, like, oh, it's just, you know, coincidence. But for me, it was a really magical thing to literally have... Uh, my mother guide me to Reiki level one. So for me, Reiki healing has been a really powerful thing. Um, I'm now getting to the main thing. So I've been doing it for five years. I am a, a Reiki master teacher um, in Isui and in Karuna. So I decided that I would embark on this journey of uh, not only teaching Reiki, but creating my own Reiki manual. So uh, I created uh, Mind Body Soul Healings uh, personalized uh, Reiki manual to go along with my course. So I chose April April fifteenth because it's right um, right right around a very significant time for me. Um, one second. So it's, it's a very significant time for me and I want to offer Reiki level one. Um, I know this is kind of a long video, but for those of you that are meant to see this, you're going to see this um, and it'll, it'll have meaning for you. So I was, I was led to this. I've decided to um, not just, you know, take somebody else's manual. I put together um, a, a structure and I'm working on level two now. Um, teaching system for Asui, um, adding in some of the things that I learned over the five years. Uh, so I am going to be launching it April 15th, which is uh, my mother's birthday, right around my mother's birthday. Um, I wanted it to be a really significant time. I am going to be doing um, a live like Zoom teaching class. I'm not going to do this very, very much. It's, I might not even continue doing it. It's like a, a couple time offer. I might do it two times. I'm not positive yet. So if it's something that you're interested in, you're definitely going to want to hop on this offer. Um, just because I'm not sure with the rest of my business, whether that's going to be something that I can do more than once or twice a year. So I am creating a, a video course. You'll still be able to get Reiki from me. Uh, but with this offer, you're going to get um, live Zoom classes. And live Zoom classes in the, in the instance that you can speak up, you can ask questions, we can take breaks, we can... It, it'll be very um, like a class setting. Uh, you're going to receive when you take Reiki Level 1 with me, whether you take the other levels or not, um, you're going to receive my chakra assessment process that I've created. It is unique to mind, body, soul healings, and it's something that you can carry forward with your Reiki, Reiki uh, path and your Reiki business. Um, it is a visual uh, chakra assessment, so people answer a set of questions, and then you have an actual vis visual um, chakra um, lineup that you can show people. And one thing that I've learned over the five years in my Reiki practice and business is people really love, they can feel the progress that's happening when they come to you on a regular basis, but, um, they're also able to see it. You can physically see it. I have this, um, young 17 year old girl. Um, her name's Sierra. She comes to me when she came to me. She was so full of anxiety and and looked like she was gonna cry. Like she was just I like being an empath, I just wanted to hug her because she's like she's like a hundred pounds. <laughs> and she was just like like oh like so anxious because she didn't know me, like she didn't know what Reiki was. She was just coming because she was desperate. And for her to see the difference over these this this past year of, of getting Reiki, um really kind of adds that extra value to to the Reiki session because you we're we're visual beings so um, you're gonna get this process and I've also decided that um, I have a, a lifetime Reiki um, group so anybody that's taking any level of Reiki with me will be added to this group and it's um, 
I'll, I'll be sharing, you know, tips and guidance in this group um, for a lifetime, but it will more be as you're, you're deciding to take this into a business, uh, questions that you have or questions about the symbols or what you're experiencing or what somebody else is experiencing or say you had a session, you have, you, you have it for life. I will always be available to add, uh, answer those questions. Um, I think that there's a lot of Reiki courses out there that um, are not necessarily um, offering that and I've been really lucky to be a part of that and I think that it adds uh, an immense value to um, continuing on your Reiki journey. So um, uh, that's going to be 222 Reiki level one. It's going to be April 15th and 16th. Um, I have those days off, so I will be spending those days of teaching, uh, the Reiki level one manual, um, along with some extra stuff, of course. Um, I definitely was, I come from a long line of healers, so, um, I'll just be adding whatever it is that I felt guided to in the moment. So, um, don't miss out on this opportunity because it's going to be different once it's a video course. It's, um, you'll have the opportunity to pause and play as you want, um, which is an amazing thing, but this is something that you can, um, experience and ask questions and just have the interaction I think is going to be a really amazing thing. So if you know anybody that is on this journey that you think might be interested in this, um, please send them my way. Um, I am looking forward to helping people the way that I felt that my mentor helped me because it was a huge life change for me. It gave my life a whole lot more purpose. It um, helped in my spiritual path uh, drastically. Taking Reiki was a huge factor in um, where I am today and uh, what I'm doing today. So um, just wanted to hop on live and talk, talk about, you know, my Reiki journey, um, and just share, share some of the amazing things that happened that led me to Reiki, um, share, you know, how you can open up your life to, uh, being led more and led to more like fulfillment because we aren't just meant to be here and, um, go through these adrenaline jobs and, um, be chewed up and spit out. We were meant to come here to make an impact, to do things, um, whatever it is that we're unique to. So, um, if you know anybody, um, share, share the, the offer with them for sure. Tag them in it. Um, and I'm going to, you know, speak about Reiki over the next couple weeks here a little bit more. I'm going to be sharing some more things in live videos, so stay tuned for that. I just wanted to hop on and um, speak about my Reiki journey today. I felt really guided to um, share about, you know, what's, what Reiki's done for me. Hey, Annie. And uh, share about my offer. So $222 uh, live virtual um, class. It'll be two days. You get the chakra assessment process that I use that's unique to my um, Reiki Reiki business and you also get a lifetime uh, Reiki guidance um, group. It'll be a private group um, anybody that takes the course so um, you'll have to stay stay tuned for Reiki level two as I'm working on the manual now and I'll go straight into level three once that's done too. So um, April 15th um, hi Annie, uh, and just if you know anybody, uh, share the offer because this is not something that I'm going to be doing for, um, a long time. I've been really focusing on my Reiki candles and it's, it, it takes up quite a bit of time with my full-time job. So, um, you never know, it might be something that I move more into is doing the live classes, but as far as my intention goes, I'm only going to probably offer two as far as I, I am, uh, thinking myself. So, um, don't hesitate. It's not something that you're going to be able to pick up later and, and get the same one-on-one -on -one class. So, 
Um, if you're, you're concerned about money, you can come and talk to me. I am a pretty level-headed person. I will help you work out something. If it's, if it's your desire to take this course, um, speak to me, speak up, um, set the intention that it's your desire. Let me know, communicate that, and we'll work something out together. Okay. Um, have a great day, you guys. Thank you for listening to my short version of my Reiki journey. I know it wasn't really short, but um, that's kind of the, the the quick version of how I was led to Reiki and what, what happened and um, how it's changed my life. I also would like to bring on a friend of mine that just recently took a Reiki course so they can talk about how Reiki's changed their life too. So have a blessed day. I hope that there's, there's many beautiful things in your day and I will maybe see you tomorrow after my mastermind class.